all right everyone welcome to my channel uh, if you're new to my channel consider subscribing I post a lot of videos on uh, DevOps uh, mainly in the areas like Kubernetes and Docker so in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, something that is common to both the areas uh, that is Kubernetes and Docker right so I'm going to be talking about commands and arguments which are actually used in uh, a Kubernetes a YAML file a manifest file like this like commands and arguments and also if you are familiar with the uh, docker file um, basically docker file is what you use to create docker images and you can also specify entry point and command in the docker file so both of these things are used for uh, the same purpose basically if you um, you know when you spin up a container in case of docker using the docker image uh, basically you um, you know you if you want a certain command to run uh, right after the container is created then you would actually like use things like this like entry point like in this case it's like sleep for 120 seconds is the command that I want docker to run actually right after creating the container right so uh, so that's that actually in case of kubernetes you can specify the same thing like this but you know you might also notice that we are using uh, you know an image field where we actually specify the image based on which a kubernetes pod is created right so what if i actually like use the image that is created using this docker file in this place over here actually so what would happen is basically you will have uh, an image and inside the image you have a certain uh, command and also like you have the command right over here and you know you're saying like I also want to run this command actually right so which command will run basically what what kind of rules will apply uh, mainly if you go to this kubernetes documentation you will see these four rules actually right you have basically your entry point and command just like i showed you like when you are overriding these commands these lines basically these rules apply okay so we are going to go through these rules one by one and kind of like understand what happens uh, in each of these cases um, this is not a huge Kubernetes topic, but this might come in handy at some point, you know, you never know. So um, I just thought I'll explore this today. Okay, so let's take this one. It is basically rule number one, which is if you do not supply command or args for a container, the default defined, the defaults defined in the Docker image is used basically. So if you do not supply commands or args for a container, the defaults defined in the Docker image are used. So what that means is in your uh, manifest file, YAML file, whatever you want to call it. So basically you will have something like this. You have the image and you don't have the other stuff like commands and arguments. So I'm going to create a, a pod using this. YAML file and let me quickly check whether the pod is created yes the pod is running so I'm gonna now just connect to the pod and see what is running inside that pod right so I'm just going to run the ps minus ef command inside this particular pod and you can see that sleep 120 is running so I don't have anything mentioned over here so that is basically coming from this um this image actually so this image right over here is basically created from this docker file i uploaded the image to my docker hub repository and then i'm just using it okay so you see the sleep 120 and it's coming from the image that's because you have no override at all so this is a straightforward uh case right so next one is uh, if you supply a command but no arguments for a container you supply a command no arguments then the supplied command is used the default entry point and the default command defined in the docker image are ignored so if that's not clear let's actually 
look at another yaml file which is ubu ubu to yaml okay so here you have the command that's what they're saying if you supply a command no arcs i don't have any arcs over here and this image is the same Im image that we used before it has sleep 120 as the entry point and command and uh, let's see what happens i'm going to create a pod based on this um yaml file so kubectl apply and that and also kubectl we can just use the same command like this and paste minus it it and then you want to use the pod name as it is mentioned in this new yaml file and as you can see you have a sleep 1800 which is coming from this guy actually right here so basically both uh, you know both of these things are ignored actually if you specify only the command in your kubernetes um, yaml file so this is overriding everything that's in the image so here's the third rule if you supply args for a container then the default entry point defined in the docker image is run with the arcs that you supplied so what that means is okay so you have a yaml file like this which is ubu 3.yaml and basically you have only the arcs uh, supplied in this manifest okay so in your docker file you have the sleep command so when we create a pod using this yaml file which let me do right away and if i see what command is running inside this the name of the pod is only arcs you can see it is sleep 100 so basically sleep is coming from the entry point in the image and 100 is coming from this arcs over here okay so now finally if you supply a command and arcs uh, then the default entry point and the default command in the image is basically ignored so your command is run with your arcs right so if you look at this other yaml file so you have both here right so then let's actually try it out so let's create a pod and basically get rid of this and then we actually substitute our new pod name which is this and then you see this sleep 1000 running which is coming from our manifest all right i hope that was clear so if you ever come across this situation and you need to override what's in the docker image or any container image so this uh, lesson might come in handy so i hope you liked it and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and i will see you guys with a different video a different concept uh, very soon and do consider watching my kubernetes playlist there's a lot of good information there thank you